We have some very special guests in studio this morning, a group of budding journalists from Forest Hills, Queens. Now, back in October of 2021, I visited PS 101, the school in the gardens, and spoke to the students behind BTV. It's a five-minute newscast created and presented by the students as a way to keep everyone connected, mainly during the pandemic, but it's still going strong. Live from Studio Beanley Media Center, this is BTV. Now, here's Benjamin. Good morning, PS 101Q. You're watching BTV, PS 101's number one morning news program. This week is also a Respect for All Week in all New York City schools. Respect means that you accept somebody for who they are, even when they're different from you or you don't agree with them. As always, have a beautiful day, and thanks for spending part of your morning with us. We'll see you right back here tomorrow morning. Bye. Bye. How cute are they? All right, I'm joined now by some of the students of BTV, their media arts technology teacher, Adam Hyman, and PS 101 principal, Monique Paniagua. Great to see everybody. Hello. Thanks hello. Hello. All right, I'm going to start with the students. And what's a typical day like getting ready for the newscast? We get up and then we go to school. So let's, you know what, let's put the mic right. There you go. <laughs> we get up and we go into the BTV room and then we um, look at the script and make sure there are no changes and we talk to Mr. Hyman if there are any changes. Then we go and we have a few minutes until Mr. Hyman calls us at 823 and he tells us that we need to put on our mics and we get ready. Wow. When, what time do you have to start? Um, we start at, we have to be in the room at 812. Okay, wow. All right, somebody else wants to answer one of the kids. Tell us about some of the other segments that you have. So basically, we have our, like, good morning, mm -hmm. and we just say hello, and then we are going to say the Pledge of Allegiance to the whole school, and then we do our ruler social emotional word of the day to help students learn ruler strategies to help them stay out of the negative parts of the mood meter. I really like that. After that, we have announcements for students and teachers, mm -hmm. and then we have the weather and sports to wrap it up. All right. How do you divide up the responsibilities? I know some of you are behind the scenes and some are on camera. Well, we try to divide this equally by doing a rotation. And if someone's missing, we just do rock, paper, scissors. <laughs> <laughs> I love that. I love that. All right, Adam, how are the students picked to be on camera? Um, what, what we do is, um, I have a mic, so it's okay. <laughs> They're so used to this. Um, uh, what we do is we have their fourth grade teachers nominate them. So it's based on, you know, responsibility, getting their work done, um, everything that they, you know, have to do to be on air, have a great personality, uh, <laughs> read well, they read off a teleprompter. Mm -hmm. So, you know, we get them, their, their fourth grade teachers to actually, you know, nominate them first. And then the cluster teachers who see them outside of the class, we all talk it over and we kind of figure out who's going to be our, our go-to people. And then we usually bring them in and break the news to them and they're very excited. Ah, all right. What are some pointers that Mr. Hyman's gives you about being on air? So basically like he tells us to like read slowly even if we read slowly on the air it sounds normal to everyone else and like if we mess up on a word he like whispers it so we can like say it again and we can make the sentence like make sense mm -hmm. we just keep going there you go keep going <laughs> all right adam this started during the pandemic how has the newscast evolved as students came back to school it, it just kept going. It, mm -hmm. it, you know, it, it was becoming something big. We wanted to have that communication with the parents at home, the kids who are still, even at COVID, you know, working at home. But, you know, even in school, the kids are watching it in every classroom. They're getting um, their information from kids. You know, it's no mm -hmm. longer the adults. It's, it's more powerful sometimes. And so it just kept evolving and growing that way. You know, when you have, like Julia just mentioned, you know, the social emotional word of the day coming from yes. a 10-year-old versus an adult, sometimes it, it has a little bit more weight and, and it, it makes more sense. Definitely. All right, let's talk to our principal. I know you used to do these announcements over the PA system, so what is it like watching these kids take over and everything growing? It is absolutely incredible. Um, I would invite one or two students into my office and we would have morning announcements over the PA, but now that they've taken it to a whole new level. Uh, you can actually walk into any classroom and all staff members, all students from kindergarten through fifth grade are on the screen watching them. Um, they're able to accomplish so much more in terms of getting everyone engaged in the news, 
things and how much they cover in four minutes. I could never have done that. <laughs> Well, all right, so by, by show of hands, who wants to go into the news business when you get older? Okay. Wait, so who doesn't? <laughs> and um, so, okay, so what's your dream job if you don't want to go in the news? Um, I think being on the news would be a really great opportunity, but I want to be a writer. Oh, well, you know what? We actually have writers in news. You know, everyone only sees this me and Elise and a few people on TV, but we have a whole team behind the scenes that put this all together. So we have writers, too. Oh. So you could, be, you could be a writer for the news, so everyone can go in this business. <laughs> Um, any any final words you guys want to say to say to our viewers? Well, it was a pleasure for you inviting us here, and we're glad to be here. We're glad to have this opportunity. Thank you. Thank so you much. so much. Yes, yes, thank you. I love you guys. Thank you so much for being here. All right, we can't wait to see you on our TVs one day or on our devices, and we'll be right back. Want to say goodbye? Bye. Bye.